Action. Ça tue. T'es sûr que t'as le rack là? Hello everybody, this is Q&A number 18. So uh, let's start with question number one by Primitive. Hi Antoine, thanks for your videos. I really love them. Here's the question. Is it possible to gain muscles and burn fat at the same time? It's very hard because when you want to gain mass, you need to eat more than what you burn in a day. But when you want to lose uh, body fat, you have to eat less than what you burn. So it's kind of the opposite. But uh, the best way to do both is to eat um, around what you burn during the day from clean food and then with the training over time, you'll gain lean muscles. But um, you cannot really do both at the same time, it's really, really fast. Okay, so number two by Ekman. Hi Antoine, I wonder what if the wrist roller is the best, best exercise to gain some grip? What do you recommend? Thanks, keep up the good work. Um, it's good, but for the grip, I'm gonna show you um, right now. Okay, number two is the, the question about the grip. So, for the grip, in my opinion, the wrist roller is okay. The wrist roller is a little stick with a rope and you roll up the weight. Um, but for me, I think it's the Captain of Crush grippers. There's a um, level one through four, and there's a trainer also. Trainer is 100 pounds. Uh, number one is 140 pounds. Number two, 195. Number two and a half for me here, it's the bridge between the two and three. It's, uh, I think it's 245, and number three is um, 285, I think. And they also have number four, like 360 or something, like impossible to close. So uh, what you need to do is have a, a gripper that's really easy, just to wa warm up your uh, CNS and warm up the muscles in your forearm. And then get a challenging weight that you could do like uh, three reps easy, holding the, the thing. So number one, you hold. And then you need to get your max gripper, like your big challenge. Um, at first I had only number two, but at two I close it easy, so now it's a two and a half. All right, let's see. Two and a half. Okay, I have to do it this time. Ah! Yeah. And number three is like a lost cause. So hard. <laughs> Fuck it. All right. So for the grip, it's pretty fun to do. I mean, it's like pretty useless for a bodybuilder, but I like doing stuff like that sometimes, just for fun. They look pretty damn cool too. Look. Number three by Kempo852. Hey Antoine, I want to bring up my legs and shoulders. Would you recommend doing them twice a week? Legs is too much of a big muscle to do it twice a week, in my opinion, because it demands a lot of recuperation. And you get so much work uh, with the shoulders from the chest, the back, and even the arms. So doing them twice a week, that will be like uh, too much training for the shoulders to recuperate too. So um, don't do them twice a week. Uh, instead, try to change the way you work them maybe and then um, I'm sure you get more results. Number four, by Taylor Bilton. It's kind of a long question. Hey man, I've been training for now a year and two months. I've gained 25 pounds of lean muscle in my first year of training so far. I keep my diet fairly clean in the off season, but I was wondering, can cheating in the off season two, three times a week make the difference in the muscles you gain by not allowing as much muscle to be gained because of the dirty calories? Thanks man, keep up the good work. Your motivation too many. Okay, thank you. Um, in the off season, if you cheat, don't. Uh, that's my opinion. Don't replace um, your clean food by <laughs> your clean food by a cheat meal. Okay, don't replace it. Add the cheat meal over your clean food. Okay. <laughs> Number five by Big Big BK Two from Cairo. Hey, big Antoine, a quick question. I was underweight a year and a half ago. Now I'm a bit over because I kept eating like a machine since then. With no cardio, so I gained a lot of muscle with fat, but the idea of being hard gainer always scares me when it comes to dieting. My question is, did my metabolism change? Am I still a hard gainer? And what do you recommend me to do to cut fat down? Um, with age, me, I was more of a... Um, um, when I was really young, I had like a faster metabolism, but when I started training, eating, eating more, 
and great getting older, it changed, it became slower. But now as I become, as, I've, as I add more muscles, it comes back a little bit faster because I get less fat in the off season now. So just control your food. I mean, don't think, am I this, am I that? That doesn't matter. Just eat the good food, train hard, and change your training and food depending on the results you have. If you don't have results, uh, change the food or the training. So you, you get the results. Okay. Number six by Josh, another long question. Hey Antoine, you've been a major inspiration for me, along with Hoffman, over the past year. Thank you for posting all the training videos and Q&A's, very cool. My question is in regard to bringing out my back. I'm trying to achieve that classic V taper, but I'm having trouble bringing out my lats. Um, I do weighted pull-ups and pull-downs often, but the results are slow, if any. Any tips? Yeah, if you want to work out the lats, make sure you don't use too much weight, because then you're only going to work traps and shoulders and the lower back. So a good um, tip I can give you for, for lats is uh, concentrate on the seconds of contraction instead of the pull down. Instead of just pulling down and then going, going up, go down, squeeze the back for a good like one or two seconds and then go up slowly and you can even stretch for one or two seconds at the top. That way the lats will get more stimulation. And me, my lats improve with that technique. So you should try the lateral down on the rows, one arm rows, all that stuff. Number seven by Al Gabriel. Hey Antoine, Gabriel from Brazil here. Just want to know what the best time to do cardio. Keep pumping, take care. Best time to do cardio is after training because you have no more glycogen, you burn more fat. And um, between post workout and in the morning, I think post workout is better because you at least you got some food during the day, so it's less catabolic than in the morning. So if you have one time to do cardio, the best time is, in my opinion, after training. Okay. So that was, that was a Q&A number 18. If you have any questions, go in the link in the description. Ask the questions on the thread in the forum, Universal USA forum, and I'm gonna ask them. Yes.